Hey everybody, welcome back to Vanland. Today we've got a new product alert. We just got in the Northwest Conversions 20 gallon undermounted tank. So in this video, we wanna go over all the facts and features of the new tank. Um, we're actually gonna compare it to the other most common undermounted tank that we use. And then we'll try to help you decide which is gonna be the best tank for you given your specific situation. And then finally, we're gonna install it and we're gonna bring you guys along on the whole ride. So let's get to it. All right, so let's talk about the features of this tank. Um, first of all, it's a 20 gallon tank. It is made of BPA free food grade plastic. So you can use this as a drinking water tank. Um, and let's start with taking a look at the dimensions. This tank runs uh, just about 48, sorry, 46 inches long by around 12 inches wide, and the overall depth of it is right around nine and a half inches. So this is gonna fit right up underneath the undercarriage next to the fuel tank. The fittings that it comes with, and this is the really nice thing about Northwest Conversions tanks, is they put multiple fittings really right where you need them so you can use it for multiple different applications without having to modify it. So on one of the short sides here, we have two of the half inch threaded inlets, and those um, are penetrated all the way through so you can hook up like a water inlet or a vent or an outlet to that. They also have two one and a half inch threaded inlets, and those are currently not drilled out. So if you don't need to use them, you just leave it as is. If you do need to use them, you would actually drill this out and then thread the fitting into it. And then finally, the fifth fitting is another inch and a half port right here. And this is gonna be a really good if you're using this as a wastewater tank. So the wastewater needs to come in through a large port and we've got one right in the top here. So that's perfect. All right. So the mounting on this tank, and this is where I really think this tank is gonna shine. It comes with three stainless steel mounting brackets. And let's say we were gonna mount it. These are gonna go on the bottom of the tank. And the beauty here is that with the three brackets on, you're gonna use the existing uh, bolts that mount the fuel tank to mount the long side of the bracket here. So we don't need to drill any holes at all for that side. We will need to drill into the area around the pinch weld for um, the other side. And included in the kit are three rib nuts, three bolts, and then the washers and lock washers to go with it. These are stainless steel brackets. They look to be of a really good thickness and a good quality. Um, so I'm actually really stoked about this tank because I think it's gonna go in faster than any of the other tanks that we've currently been using. So far, I really like the design. I think they've done a really good job basically addressing the fact that a wastewater tank with large ports in this particular spot is gonna be something that many people are gonna want on their builds. So next, let's compare this new 20 gallon tank to the RB Components 22 gallon undermounted tank that is very commonly used in the industry. Oh, okay. So the first thing, this is a much heavier kit. Uh, just handling them immediately, you see that this is quite a bit heavier. Um, and the reason is, the first thing you'll notice, it has a large mounting bracket, and the tank itself also looks to be a little bit thicker plastic. So overall, first impression, I would say the RB Components tank is somewhat beefier. All right, now let's look at the fittings, and this is always really important. Uh, on the RB Components tank, we have four of the half-inch fittings, two at the bottom and two at the top. Generally, that works fine for water pipes coming in and out, but since there's no large ports on here that are threaded, if you wanted to use this as a proper wastewater tank, you would need to modify it in order to get a larger fitting uh, to work with this. So that's probably the biggest difference that I'm noticing is just the flexibility that the Northwest Conversions tank would give you in terms of plumbing. The next thing is the mounting. These tanks really use two different methods to mount. The RB components, uh, when you install one of these, you are actually taking these four brackets and bolting them up onto the frame of the vehicle and then those brackets connect to these points right here. So you are able to disconnect and pull down the water tank when you want. We've done plenty of these before and it does definitely take a few hours and some, some maybe some sweat and labor under the van to get this to mount. 
I believe that this mounting system is actually gonna be quite a bit easier. Again, we're using three of the existing bolts from the fuel tank, and then we're only drilling three additional holes, and they're more towards the outside of the van where it's gonna be a little easier to work. So although this is gonna be our first install, I can already tell you that it's probably gonna take just on order of magnitude about half of the time to install this as it would to install the RB components tank. The RB components tank here, it also, this one runs 45 inches long by uh, 11 and three quarters tall and 11 and three quarters wide or thereabouts. They're actually not all that different in size and I think based on where they're mounting, once they're up you wouldn't really notice um, that the size is that different. But of course the RB components tank is 22 gallons where this new one is 20 gallons so you are gonna get more water storage in the RB tank. Let's talk about the price. The RB components tank with the mounting bracket is right around $700 plus shipping, whereas the new Northwest conversion tank is actually only $350, so it's half the price. Um, also, I'll tell you in terms of shipping, the weight on the RB components tank means it's a pretty beefy shipment. Um, the way that the Northwest tank is put together, since it doesn't have the large bracket, this one is gonna ship um, less expensive as well. So that's the cost difference between these two. All right, so the question is, which one of these tanks is right for you? I would say, um, first of all, if you want a wastewater tank, then the choice is pretty easy. The, the Northwest Conversions tank is going to be set up out of the box to handle wastewater, where the RB Components tank would not be. However, if you're uh, like an extreme off-roader and you like to take your van uh, way out where there's rocks and sticks and obstacles that you have to go through, the RB Components tank is a beefier tank and it has a more substantial bracket, which is really gonna protect it if you do come across rocks, branches, like I said, other things like that. This is the one I would take into Baja on a trip around the world or something like that because it's, it's just a stronger tank. But I would say for most people who need a freshwater tank or a wastewater tank, um, the Northwest conversions are really good tanks. They come with the right ports out of the box to make it an easy install. And then, you know, finally the cost, it's, it's half as much. So you're gonna be able to use some of that money for other parts of your projects and still get a very good tank. For the purposes of this video, and one of the reasons we pulled this out was because we're actually putting this water tank on my van, which we have been doing a van build series, and slowly but surely we are adding new things to my van. Um, and this is the tank that I'm gonna use. Specifically, I am using this as a wastewater tank. Um, so really, it's gonna be perfect for me to put up quickly, and um, it has all the ports I need straight out of the box. Um, I'm actually really stoked about how the installation is gonna go on this. The way that Northwest has designed the bracketing, I'm just feeling like it's gonna be really easy and quick and we always like that. Um, so let's actually go and take a look at the installation right now. All right, everybody, it is time to install the water tank. Uh, Sam just put on the 47 gallon fuel tank underneath my van, which I'm super excited about. Now it's time for the water tank. I'm actually under a little bit of a time crunch, so we're gonna see how long this takes. Right now it is 156. I'd like to get it done in 30 minutes, so let's see if that's possible. So the first thing we're gonna do is mark out where we're gonna put the rib nuts in. These brackets use the, the same bolts as the fuel tank, which is great. So I'm just gonna line that up. Step number one is marking those out, and we can drill them. Start with a small hole punch here, just so I can set the larger bit. So now we'll drill out the larger holes where we're gonna set the rib nuts. I would prefer to bang them in rather than them go in loose. I've just seen too many of these fall out and this is actually what is gonna hold the water tank up. So we just want that rib nut to be super tight. Time to set the rib nut. So I've got my manual tool here. I'm gonna screw this into the rib nut. All right, and once the handles go all the way out, we're gonna give it the strongest push we can to get it to set. And if you do have an air compressor uh, tool to set your rib nuts, that's definitely the way to go. Although we just had some trouble finding the right bit for it. It's usually the hardest part. So we're gonna put this up in here. So that's that. 
The rivnuts nuts are set. Uh, next is to start putting up the brackets in the tank. So this bracket goes underneath the fuel tank bracket. It might be best to actually, yeah. Let me get the water tank up under here right now. All right, time, time check. 2.56, when did we start? 2.08? No, 156. 156, okay, it took one hour. I wanted to take one, uh, half an hour, it took one hour, but that's how it goes. Whatever you think it's gonna take, double it, and you'll probably be right on. So we just ran into a couple little issues getting our rib nut gun to set, that's common, uh, but really the installation is pretty easy. What I do recommend is, um, you do need to actually drop the full fuel tank bracket uh, to effectively get these up, at least the way that we approached it. Um, so obviously just do one fuel tank bracket at a time so the fuel tank doesn't fall down um, and then reattach it tightly before you move on to the next bracket. So looking at the water tank installed, it really only sits it's very, maybe a quarter of an inch below the pinch weld. This one sits up higher than the RB components tank, which you can actually see. It is two gallons smaller, but um, I think a lot of people are gonna like how hidden this water tank is. So that's it, super stoked. Uh, I can tell we're gonna do a lot of these here. And if you're building a van right now and need a wastewater or fresh water tank in this location, it's kind of hard to beat this Northwest Conversions undermounted tank. So. That's it, we did it.